Here's a quick and dirty Sakai tu tutorial to show you how to move the events at the start of a song so that they are no longer halfway through the first bar, and also how to control when the end of a um, channel should be. So first up, we've got all of these events listed here. They're quite annoying being halfway through bar one because that means that your instrument settings, your volume settings, so on and so forth, won't kick in until halfway through your first bar. So what we're gonna do is in this view here, the track list, we're gonna highlight all of them, like so. We're going to go to Edit, Modify Events Time, select Beat, and type in minus two. This will push all of them back two beats. Now you can see they're at the beginning of the channel here. So if I take a closer look, going to the Events List window, you will see that everything here is listed on the first beat of the first bar. Perfect. So this is relevant to what we're going to look at next, which is the end of track event. This determines when the song ends. Now, for this to have, say for your MIDI to loop, you need to make sure that all of your channels end before or on the final point of the song. Anything beyond that, and the song will play silence until, the, until every end of track has been met. So to show you this, I'm just gonna go into the piano roll. I'm going to noodle some notes in. Like so. Uh, let's mess about. Okay. So, if I play this, you'll see that it keeps playing for a while. This usually seems to be determined at random. I'm not sure how Sakaiji works this out. But the solution is to go to the events list for each channel. So if we go to modify tracks event window, um, what we can do is over here, we can select all tracks, scroll to the bottom, find an end of track, right click on it, show all events kind. This will show only end of track, oh sorry, show only this event kind. So it will show only the end of track events. So with this in mind, we want our song to end at the end of bar two, which would mean the very, very beginning of bar three, we want it to stop. So we can see all, all of these here end before that point. So we don't need to edit those, but this one here does. It ends on the third beat of bar five. So we're gonna change that to the first beat of bar three and get rid of any ticks as well. So that would be immediately after your final note. Now if I was to play, it loops. Simple as that. Hopefully that helps you.